Hi, <clears throat> welcome to this video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to <clears throat> export your parts list, only a portion of it. For example, if you have a cabinet builder and he de demands that you send them the parts numbers only for the portion, only uh, for the cabinets, because they are not interested in how many motors do you have and valves and cables and so on, uh, only in the cabinets. In that case, uh, you would go to Project Data, Devices, Navigator. In this example, I will take this small junction box. Uh, pardon my French or my German, it's a, ger it's a project in Germany. That's why, of course, it's in German. Let's say, for example, we have this element over here. You want to export the parts only for this junction box over here, only in, over, uh, in German, Klemkasten. Uh, then you would go to utilities. Manufacturing data export. Oh, it's already adjusted to German, it doesn't matter. You'd say over here. Uh, so, this is what I set up for my. <clears throat> for my export. I'm not sure which one. So summarize parts list. We will export and start application. Okay. Yes, I would like to overwrite. Yes. This is what you get doesn't look very nice at the moment, but we'll say Ctrl and A on the keyboard, Ctrl C, then we'll go to our Excel, it's a very useful program for our <coughs> daily tasks in engineering. We'll say Ctrl V, this is what you get doesn't look nice, doesn't look bad over here. So, the way I did it, I put in the first column, I said manufacturer and part number and description, uh, amount, and over here it's a summarized, it's, it's a summation of the uh, device tags. So, it's also something you can set up in your in your ePlan export section. So that's it. You just you got over here only the portion of your parts uh, parts list only for our junction box. You can see, of course, it does make sense. You have this junction box over here from Rital. And also a couple of terminals and uh, parts associated, associated with terminals. So I can quickly show you what which functions, which fields did I use. So we we'll click over here. So Parts reference manufacturer, that's the first column. After that, so you use the separate as a tabulator, so you can uh, copy the data from the notepad to Excel easily. After that, part number, separator once again, part number, uh, 
So that means a description over here, total amount, number of units, so the amount, and matter reference DT. This is the problem. This is the nice one. So you can see which. <coughs> Uh, the, as you can see it's summarized which all all of the device tags that have this part number in your Excel. So for example, you can see over here in the first line that uh, only this device tag KK1 or the R junction box has this part number and so on. So. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're interested in private lessons for ePlan or, or in general electrical design, you can write me on my email. Uh, my contact info you can find in the description of the video. Uh, and that's it for this now. So enjoy and stay brave working with ePlan. Bye.